Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today I am picking a cutaway lock that I got from BB Telpex. Originally I wanted to put the challenge lock pins that I made for them in here, but pin one is a tapered pin and it doesn't hold in the chamber. It actually will flip sideways and, and it doesn't stay in properly. Uh, I am using the pick that I got from Joe Picks that he made for me. One, two, three, four, five. Come back to the front, make sure we got one. up a light bit of pressure and still nothing not feeling any oversets five four Did have an overset. I let up a little bit of pressure and something dropped and you probably saw it. I didn't. I'll have to look at the video to see what it was. But I think it, was, it may have been two, one or two. I let up a little pressure and something dropped. All right, so that's the pick. Now I'm going to try to pause the video because I don't edit videos. I don't want to join two of them together. So let's see if I can do this. I'm going to pause the video and I should be back in a snap. Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit more in depth about this uh, lock and how that it actually works. Um, it's pretty simple, but I did a I did a demonstration on how to change the shackle, and I want to do that again. But now that I have the cutaway, there's a few more things that can be explained. So I think everybody knows that these bearings um, are what hold the shackle down and there's a cutout in this actuator that once it gets turned then those bearings are allowed to come in and it's actually the shackle that curve on the shackle on each side that pushes the bearing in now on this side of the shackle there's another little cutout where it stops the shackle from fully cutting it coming out this bearing still wedges against the actuator and it wedges against that bottom part so that it can't actually come all the way out. So this bearing is the one that is key to getting the shackle out. So let's remove that. And I am going to drop the bottom plate. I'm going to take the core out. Now on this lock, this bearing will actually come out into the... Uh, channel here which normally it would not be able to do uh, but because it's a cutaway actually some of the material that holds that bearing in has uh, been cut away so I'm going to try to do this very carefully but what we would do is we're going to put the shackle back in now that relieves the pressure of the bearings so that this actuator can then come forward. I'm trying to do it without uh, normally what I would do would be to tap the shackle but I would, I would tap it this way. There we go. So I tap it and knock the actuator out and then the bearings can fall down through the middle and come out. So now with the bearings out of the way, the shackle can come all the way out. So this bearing was sitting in here and that's what holds it there. So you gotta be able to get that bearing out of the way so the actuator must come out. And then to get it back in, it's just a matter of doing everything kind of in reverse. And with the cutaway, other than the grease on the bearings, 
should be easier to do. Except I can't pick it up. Okay. So the bearings would go in and you get the bearings off into each one of their own sides so that the actuator can go in. So you want to hold the shackle all the way pressed in so that those bearings can sit back into their grooves and then the actuator can just get pushed right back in and released and now they're you can see that bearing is holding against there so it can't come out i hope that's a little more clear with the cutaway on exactly how it works um, and then you just put the pieces all back together We have the screw. And then it's back together and there you go. So I hope that's a little more clear on how, what actually happens with it, with the shackle and everything. Basically those bearings, um, you can see that notch on the side of the actuator. Once that actuator turns, that's what allows the lock to go in, but the shackle because of the way it's cut, can't come all the way out. So removing that actuator gets the bearings out of the way and the shackle, shackle can come out very easily. So yeah, that's the 1100, all its wonders and glory right there. So yeah, I wish I could have done the challenge lock, but uh, pins that would have been kind of cool to see. Uh, but it is what it is. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great rest of your day.